Hello and welcome to a new episode of Adobe Creative Cloud TV. In this episode, we're going to take a look at five things that you need to know about Photoshop layers. So let's jump right in with the first one, which is filtering and searching layers. That's right. Now in Photoshop CC, you have the ability right here on the layers panel, you've got this brand new filter and search capability. So for example, if I want to filter and just find all my text layers, I've got dozens of layers here. A lot of them are hidden in layer groups. If I just simply click the T, finds all my text layers no matter where they are in this document. The other thing is I can search for image layers, adjustment layers, um, layer shapes, and of course, uh, last but not least, uh, by the way, you can search for more than one thing at a time by just enabling multiple things, but last but not least, smart objects. Now that's filtering. The other one is you can filter or find different kinds of effects, modes, attributes, colors, smart objects, or just the selected layers but I wanna search for a layer by name. So when I do a search, I wanna find all my backpack layers. So that's filtering and searching, number one. Number two is the ability to select, this is kind of a hidden thing, the ability now to select multiple layers at the same time right on the layers panel. Now before you'd put them in a layer group like the backpacks layers, layer group, and that would allow me to move them all together as a single unit, that's great but it also allowed me to lower the opacity of the entire group. Again, that's great. But what if you want to go in and just individually select layers? So I'm holding down my command key on the Mac, control key on PC, and that would allow me to selectively pick which ones I want to move or adjust. So now I'm moving the other three down because I want to highlight the orange one. And so for example, I can just lower the opacity of the other backpacks or the other layers while they're all selected as one. So apply effects, uh, filters, all kinds of things to multiple selected uh, layers inside Photoshop CC by just holding down your shift key or your command key as you select them. All right, the next one is that we have the ability to stamp layers into a, um, a single, or basically stamp multiple layers into one. So for example, if I uh, get out of my searching here, let's go back up to kind, we'll do filtering and we'll uh, go all the way back up to our topmost layer, our topmost layer group. And now what I'm gonna do is this is kind of a hidden keyboard shortcut. I'm gonna do Command Option on Mac, that would be Control Alt on PC, and press the letter E. When I press the letter, or press Command Option Shift E, that will take all my visible layers and combine them into one new layer. This is great if you want to apply, you know, you kind of want to keep your layers for uh, going back and making adjustments, but you kind of want to take a composite and do something to that whole composite as one single layer without affecting all the individual layers that made that composite in the first place. And by the way, if I wanted to just prove that, I can turn off all the other layers, which by the way, this is a tip that you can drag down the eyes of your layers panel to turn off that one layer, which now houses everything. And of course I can drag down again to turn them all on. There's also keyboard shortcuts to hold down like the option key or alt key or shift key or whatever to turn them all on and off at, at the same time. But there you go. Uh, that's the composite layer that we can now do whatever we want with um, that we stamped from the other layers with that keyboard shortcut. The next one kind of is, is a hidden gem, a benefit um, in Photoshop CC, and that is when you have a background and you wanna turn that background into a layer. Well, you could do that before, you could uh, double click it, you could drag the lock icon, there were all kinds of ways to do it, but now it's very simple. All you do is click the lock, that's it. Click the lock, you've unlocked the layer and turned it into a, you've unlocked the background and turned it into a layer. So that is your number four. Um, uh, things you want to know about uh, layers inside Photoshop. Number five, and this one is the new generator feature added last fall in Photoshop CC. So for example, I've got this document here, which obviously has a bunch of layers. And in my preferences, I've enabled the generator plugin. Um, in the file menu though, I still need to do one more thing. I need to tell it for this particular document that I want to use generator. So I'll go down to the generate menu and enable image assets. Now that I've done that, Photoshop is now monitoring the layers panel for any layers that I name with a file extension. And which by the way, if there are any that already have a file extension, then it will create a folder. Here, I'll show it to you in the operating system. 
It'll create a folder called assets. Um, it'll call it the name of the Photoshop document with dash assets on the end of it, and it will put it in the same place as the original PSD was saved. So here it is, here's the folder of all those assets. And what I wanna do is create a new one from my circle background. So let's go in and let's uh, rename this layer. We're gonna name it dot JPEG. So when I name it dot JPEG, that will create, we go back a circle background JPEG. It just made that uh, particular layer. Now, if I go in and I change that layer, let's grab the paintbrush. And by the way, here's a bonus tip. I wanna lock the opacity of this layer so that I'm only painting on the pixels that are already there. I'm not adding any new red pixels. So there we are, we're painting on that layer. And now if I go out in the operating system and look, there's the circle background JPEG that it made with that uh, red on it. So if I change the color, for example, let's pick a different color and let's go with the blue this time. And now we're painting with blue. And as soon as I let go, it's, it's, it's going to go and make that blue layer or that blue image. So taking your layers as you name them as file extensions and making layers out of them. And as a bonus tip, you can have both types of graphics or multiple types of graphics. So if I double click the file name and I hit uh, com or a comma space and I call this circle uh, CIR BG two dot png so now that'll make a ping file from that one as well just as quickly as i could rename the layer so that's the new generator feature inside photoshop and those are five things you need to know about photoshop layers we can talk about layers all day long because there's hundreds of things to know but those are five quick ones that will hopefully increase your workflow make your workflow faster or increase the speed of your workflow so thanks again for watching my name is Terry White and we'll catch you on the next one.